never ceases to surprise me year after year how easy it is to miss the timing of things and how quickly flowers coming into flower soon go out of flower and something else takes over and that's what's happening to the verges in this part of Sherwood Forest. Only a couple of weeks ago I was filming the first the colt's foot flowers and now colt's foot has been very nearly done. The last few flowers are about and have been visited by a number of diptera and hymenoptera but now it's the dandelion the humble dandelion that is taking over you may well see a bee fly bombilius major just approaching these dandelion flowers on the left and has now gone one of many insects that can be found on these dandelions this morning but one thing I've noted apart from the bee flies here that are being attracted by these beautiful bright yellow dandelion flowers is the number of bumblebees and it's one species in particular it's the common carder bee Bombus pascuorum which in Nottinghamshire is the only brown bumblebee wholly brown bumblebee that we have not including Bombus hypnorum now, but that's tricoloured, but Bombus pascuorum is largely a rich chestnut brown on the thorax and the abdomen is various shades from chestnut brown through to almost black. But I've never seen so many Queen Bombus pascuorums visiting the flowers in this one area. There's about half a dozen None of the other common bumblebees, like Bombus terrestris and others, Bombus praetorum, it's all Bombus pascuorum, the common carder bee. And that's a welcome sight, as are these beautiful dandelion flowers. Dandelion is a most underrated resource. It's regarded by everybody still pretty much as a weed and yet it's vitally important as a nectar source for those insects flying early in the year and as April progresses dandelions really come into their own. Fortunately greater awareness is now being given to the importance of dandelions growing in roadside verges and councils are being encouraged not to cut roadside verges at least not so early and not so frequently there's no need for it certainly there's no need for any roadside verges to be cut until we get towards the end of april and may such a vital nectar source but such a pretty flower as well absolutely beautiful i've probably mentioned before on this channel that if these were in a garden centre and they were pink or blue you'd be going mad over them but because they're yellow and because they're so ridiculously common and that's no fault of the dandelion it's very successful now i love successful plants and invertebrates you have to admire anything that is supremely successful and dandelion is one such plant but it's a good thing that it is successful for those early invertebrates that require nectar early in the year once they've come out of their winter torpor. Remarkable. No one ever looks at a dandelion. Often used to be called pea the bed, if I remember rightly, years ago when we were young. If you get dandelions, you were likely to pee the bed on a night time. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life but I have a sneaky feeling that they are known as a diuretic or something along those lines. But I like dandelion flat leaves. They're absolutely beautiful and as you can see in the distance we may well have another Bombus pascuorum right on cue visit these flowers in front of camera. And there's another one 
not three feet away as well up to the right but you might not be able to see that but I'm just struck at so many of these beautiful Bombus Pascuorums and here she is look busy 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 the busy bee literally but they're beautiful and they won't harm you they won't sting you the last thing they want to do is sting you they're just happy and content about founding a new colony gathering the nectar and the pollen and gathering that nectar and pollen without argument or question it's all down to need very unselfish things are bees all for one and one for all